Hello and welcome to a new update for an unwound clockwork, among other things because there were quite a few side projects last month, sorry for that, but first things first. Um, as you all know, we're still working on the boss's office in preparation for the next big shoot, but that said, still had some major parts missing, for example, the entire ceiling. Um, as you might know, we're going to reuse many parts from the old office set, like the main frame, the floors and some of the wall sections. But the ceiling was going to be replaced because the room should still look a bit distinct and a bit more luxurious because it's the boss's office after all. So Maurice and I made a curved ceiling with stone texture, it's down there, which is going to be the ceiling for that office room and it also will have the chandeliers we made some months ago. So uh, that's really nice to have finished. Um, originally I wanted to show some finished images with proper lighting in the set and everything and the chandeliers glowing. Um, but yeah, time was just running out by the end of the month and so that's something to look forward to next month at least. Besides this, Maurice and I also spent around a day to glue down all the tiny props and details in the set. There were so many, like everything in the giant cupboard and on the desk, it's really a lot and Maurice really did a great job crafting all those. And now we had quite a bit of fun in figuring out the correct placements and gluing them down. Yeah, it was a really nice day. And now it's really great to see the entire picture of everything and it's basically ready for animation now. So that's also a really great check mark there. Um, but on the other side of the room there were still some parts missing. Um, for example, there is this giant bird-like dinosaur skeleton creature standing. Um, I have built it many years ago, maybe you remember if you're following the project for that long. Um, so that's an old piece, but I added this really nice little barrier here, which was also quite a bit of fun to make from brass. <laughs> Yeah, and the wall sections are now also kind of finished. We glued down all the little paintings Toby did some months ago and we really had an abundance of them. So the idea was to have them overlapping and with touching frames and yeah, really too much of them basically and overcrowded wall sections. And I must say the result is really unpleasant, yeah, but uh, that was exactly the idea here to have it, yeah, an abundance of wealth of everything and to the point of being ridiculous, like too much of everything and now with all the food props and the big uh, cupboard and the wall sections, it's now really an overcrowded office of a very wealthy person and I think that's exactly what I wanted to achieve here, so I'm really happy with the entire looks of the set now. And also um, the set piece is now basically finished and ready for shooting. Some, some minor details are still left in preparation of course, but um, yeah, it's not too much. Um, the main thing which is still missing now is the human puppet, the boss puppet. Um, in the last update I showed our first results of doing the silicone casting in the 3D printed molds and those results didn't look too promising honestly. So um, yeah, we did some more experiments and came to the conclusion that it's not going to work that way. So we switched our strategy and we are now printing the face pieces directly. So the main head and the replacement mouthpieces will be made from hard plastic 3D printed and that's working now really great and I think also the handling in the animation with the replacement um, parts will be really easy and the only moving parts in the face will be the eyebrows and the mustache which will be separate pieces. Um, the only thing we are losing here is the chin because the idea with the soft squishy silicone was to have a very flexible hollow skin and when the human looks down the chin would have yeah, made like a frog-like movement hopefully. That's not going to work now but other than that I think the look of the hard uh, face pieces here is now really sufficient for what we're going to achieve and I'm also really happy with the replacement pieces now. Well this time it really took a lot of trial and error to arrive at a working solution but I think we learned a lot in the process and at least I'm really glad we now finally had a successful test with this hard replacement pieces now. And all the remaining 3D printed parts will now be printed within the next week and then we can assemble the puppet finally. So that's really great. So the last thing which is missing from the puppet now are his clothings of course. 
but we are pretty confident that we can finish them next month too and then we will be able to start shooting in May finally. So that's our current goal, fingers crossed. So besides this I also have some great news from the post-production. So I had a longer meeting with Inka and she showed me seven new finished scenes um, she worked on in the last weeks, um, all from the main office set and yeah those look really great and I'm really happy we have some progress there as well. Uh, don't want to spoil it though. So that's about it for the news for... Wow, it's, it's really raining a lot outside. Sorry for the noise, I hope it's okay. Um, yeah, that's about it for the main news from an unwound clockwork. But as I mentioned in the beginning, um, there were quite a few side projects last month as well. So as you probably seen in the background, um, I have worked on my thread cutting machine. So the big parts arrived and I machined most of the precision features and assembled it for the first time. And now it really starts to look like the 3D model I made and that's really satisfying. Um, of course the electronics and software and some of the mechanical components are still missing and I will continue working on it for a while longer I think. But uh, yeah, seeing it as it is now is already very satisfying. Yeah, and the second side project was not really planned. Um, the thing is, my grandfather died last month. He was nearly 90 years old, so I guess that's all right. But um, yeah, my family have asked me if I could build the urn for his funeral. And yeah, he was a tool maker for his entire life and also a beekeeper. So I tried to come up with something fitting. And I made a metal box in the shape of a honeycomb. I riveted the steel plates together and used some rust patterns as decoration and yeah the entire thing was built to decay very easily so yeah something pretty different from what I'm usually doing but I learned a lot in the process and I think it was really nice to do this myself so yeah took some time away as well. Now um, does anyone else need a very fancy ashtray? Let me know. And at last, um, some of you might know that I have studied computer science a couple of years back and I was still involved in a little research project I had with a friend of mine. And we had the opportunity to present our work at the university, give a little talk about it. And yeah, so we used the opportunity to finish that project basically. And yeah, this also took away a bit more time than was expected. Um, yeah. For those interested, we will probably release our results somewhere next month. Um, maybe I will include it in the next update video. We will see. But it's a very scientific niche topic, so I don't guess that it will be very interesting for most of you. So looking towards next month, um, most importantly, we want to finish the boss's office set and hopefully also the boss character himself. So those are the main tasks. But also we want to record the video references for the next scene like sitting in front of a camera, acting out everything the character will do. And uh, yeah, then we can start to discuss the animation schedule and the planning of all the details together with Mona, who will do the animation then. And also I had originally planned to do a new live stream in March, but with everything which happened, I just didn't find the time to do it. So uh, with some luck, uh, there will be a new one next month. Uh, we will see. I try my best, but no guarantees. <laughs> um, yeah, thank you for your ongoing support. It's really appreciated. Yeah, thank you all so much and see you next time. Bye bye. Verdammt. <laughs>